Greetings, star flyers of the luminous filaments of light. As our nervous systems become more sensitized, it is the universal one raising the frequency of our meridians to feel at a deeper level. We must feel our way through the vibrations of the new energies flowing in from on high. Although these intense feelings may be uncomfortable, they serve a higher purpose. They are our tools and technologies of the new earth as a guiding light into our exodus from the old earth into our 5D new heaven upon the new earth. We must not resist what we're feeling but allow ourselves to feel our way through and through and through until full compression breakthrough. Humans invented calendars and clocks to be what appears to be sane. We took the mystery and made it mundane. Nothing is what it seems, nor is it otherwise. We took the insanity and normalized it. We do not stop and look back into the past, but keep our eyes on the prize of freedom and total liberation from the known and into the great mystery, Wakantanka. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred New Earth scribes. So be sure to listen to the very end and please do us a favor and share these videos with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And now we continue with the Sabian symbols right now. The moon is at 6 degrees, 26 minutes Aries. The sun is at 15 degrees, 49 minutes Libra. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 16 degrees Libra. After a storm, a boat landing stands in need of reconstruction. The current Sabian symbol for the moon at 7 degrees Aries. A man successfully expressing himself in two realms at once. From astrologyweekly.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Sophie Gregoire. Intense and emotional full moon in Aries, it's your time to be the queen of swords. Speak up for yourself, claim your sovereignty, and take action in the name of your true north, independence and personal development on your own unique path. This time you want to do things for you, not to please anybody else. Relationships are at a forefront, they are rebalancing. What's not fair and aligned can't remain. At the same time, be mindful. Watch your words before speaking up. Anger, tempers, and even rage feelings representing pent-up emotions are now surfacing. Be in power, but remain in your higher self. Complex, but such a powerful blend to be in. Trust in your rebirth when all this stuck energy will be released. From SophieGregoire.com and from Divine Brother of the Light, Jonathan Louis Dent. This upcoming Aries full moon on Sunday is a powerful one for anyone that works with their ancestors. It's conjunct Chiron, and Chiron is an ancestral access point. Will be a potent time to go to the altar and communicate, especially with Mars currently in communicative Gemini. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Celia Fenn. Full moon in Aries and the 1010 portal. We're coming up to a powerful moment tomorrow and Monday. Tomorrow, Sunday, October 9th, we have the full moon in Aries. A fire moon is always volatile and a bit turbulent. We are deep in the fires of transformation with all the solar flares recently, and the Aries moon will only turn up the heat, so to speak. We can expect lots of sparks whether they be sparks of anger or sparks of creativity. It is up to us as masters of light to direct our creative power in ways that honor our path on earth. Allow the divine feminine energy to flow through you and to see new creations. This is the theme of the 1010 portal. With its 1010 sequence, it reminds us that we are at a zero point and that we must dream and expand in order to move forward. The wheel of fate is turning and the ribbon of destiny is unfurling to create a new path. 
We must take our courage and step through the fire into this new beginning. Remember, it will not serve us to fall into judgment and anger at this time. We have come too far to be trapped in old patterns and that pulls us downwards and backwards. Focus on the new earth that is birthing through the fire of transformation. Much love to you all, family of light, as we transit these powerful two days. From CeliaFen.com And from Divine Bro, Thor of the Light, Pars Kute. Time for being a channel of divine love. We are living in extraordinary times for advancement to higher levels. Many portals have opened. And new energy is inviting us to participate in a higher role of assisting humanity, the planet, and the multi-dimensions. One way to be of service and assist in this process is to be a channel of divine love. Divine love carries the highest vibration and frequency. It is an energy that comes from the creative source, and it is there for all beings. When we experience divine love, we are able to realize that we are from the creative source and that we carry this essence within us as our divine spark in our heart center. Some beings are aware of this connection, while others are waiting for it to be awakened into full realization. A full realization occurs when one feels this at a heart level, as well as knowing it at an intellectual level. This realization may occur in several ways. It can be through study, meditation, or inspiration in nature. Another way this can occur is by being in the presence of someone who is channeling and radiating divine love. Beings who are channeling divine love have dedicated themselves to be of service for the highest good. It is one of the highest forms of service to the creative source. Being a channel of divine love begins with a recognition of this love and connection within ourselves. We are aware that we burst forth as a spark of the divine. We feel divine love through our entire being. It fills every fiber and cell. It fills our thoughts, words, and actions. It is a vibration that is always part of us. Even when we are not consciously focusing on it, it is who we are. Others benefit from it by being in our presence. When we set our intention and in love to be a channel of divine love, we may experience an increase in compassion and understanding for all beings. We have a recognition that everyone is part of the oneness. We connect with everyone at a heart level through our divine spark and their divine spark, and we want the highest good for them. With this inner standing and knowing, our capacity as a channel of divine love rises to even higher levels. Our capacity to radiate divine love can be enhanced by keeping our channel clear and pure. We may wish to spend some time each day focusing on our heart center and divine love. As we do this, we may feel an expansion in our capacity to channel even greater amounts of divine love. Reviewing our thoughts and emotions each day can help us determine whether we wish to make any adjustments. A small adjustment may yield large results. Another component for keeping our channel clear is expressing gratitude for divine love and for being a channel of this wonderful energy. As we continue this process, we are channeling divine love for those around us and all of humanity, the planet, and the multi-dimensions. Within divine love of one, Pars Kute. And from Divine Sis, Star of the Light, Divine Feminine, 7777, the high frequency energy from the solar flares is flowing into the planetary system, and some are feeling amazing, others not so much, because it is too much to handle. Nonetheless, the energy is still easier than it was in the last few weeks when it was so heavy and dense and was pulling us down all the time. The energy that we can feel now is lighter in the sense of pulling us up towards the light. Although it is really powerful and high frequency, which can cause a lot of problems and ascension symptoms for many. What is also noticeable is that the ones that didn't open up to the new energy but stayed in the old cycle can feel the incoming high frequency energy much heavier than the ones that have opened up to the new energy and started a new cycle. But don't worry about anything. All is well. We are always clearing in layers and there is always a group of souls 
that are holding the energy high for others to progress and then it can happen again and again. This is how we progress as a collective. The full moon energy is amping up and the 1010 portal is getting closer and we will be able to progress to a higher level which means we need to make an internal shift that we are prepared for right now. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Jennifer Okangale. Seer update. Absolutely amazing things are currently happening in the ley lines and planetary grids of the Celtic lands. Swords of light are emerging from the waters. The rod principle being restored in the planetary light body, which will birth the corrected flower of life, an organic Edenic blueprint that Gaia was destined to be. Christ consciousness rising, Excalibur returning sovereignty to the lands. The sword of light has emerged from the waters around Skellig Michael, lifted by the love of the mermaid priestesses. The sword of light of the benevolent Christ King Arthur will begin to travel through the Michael line all the way to Jerusalem. Grid workers along this line, take up your stations. You are the guardians returned. Big stuff, great stuff, a lot to celebrate and look forward to. Promise. From CelticGoddess.org And from Divine Sister of the Light, Erini, Crystal and Indigo Guide to the Galaxy. One work in two parts. The revelations that come through the continuation of the reset process are mind-blowing and so alleviative. We are freeing our systems from eons of unconscious conditioning and opening to a new reality which is clearer and feels very different in so many ways. What looked real to the senses up until now is but a program. Our physical and non-physical senses are the portals to the new. We come in contact to a reality that is free from layers and layers of loops and distortions, a reality that is so much easier and more free and humane. Collectively, the masculine energy is going through this awakening, and he is coming in contact with his inner state of capturing and suffering that he was avoiding. It is time for him to face the whole truth, all the feelings, all the pain, violence, loss, disgrace, weakness, and despair, and walk back to his inner source and core with recognition, forgiveness, admission, and self-responsibility. There is no shame of blame. There is but love, wisdom, power, and union to be gained, and he is so honored. He is immortal, and though he went through hell, he is safe and sound. His return and huge change will be directly mirrored in our bodies, our personal lives, our relationships, and in society, too. As he is setting himself free, the twin flames will go through recalibration on the physical level again. There are many different levels of recalibration that we will go through and via each recalibration that we will be integrating and embodying, another part of the new reality will be revealing to us, offering us more understanding and wisdom on the whole and true story of humanity. Erini From Divine Sister of the Light, Asara Adams Energy Update by Adama of Telos Greetings, beloved ones. We are most joyous to connect with you here today, and we are sending you our utmost love from the heart of Telos. Beloved one, as you are moving through the ever-changing energies, your physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual bodies are transforming into a new human. That means your DNA is changing in a way that is capable to adapt to the higher vibrational frequency field that planet Earth is moving into. You are now stepping into the new divine earth as the new human. The entrance to it might still be a little wobbly, but if you continue to focus your intent and attention towards the experience of it, your path will become more stable. All systems are set to go, and some of you are already able to experience the first glimpses of it. It all depends on the spiritual attainment of each individual. If the spiritual attainment of an individual has reached a certain level, he or she will be able to step into the new divine earth further. So what can each one do if the desire is to experience the divine new earth? 
the first and most important step is to understand that the divine new earth reality is based on a fifth dimensional vibrational frequency that means that if you wish to experience this reality the raising of your vibrational frequency is imperative there are many different ways to raise your vibrational frequency here are just a few ways meditation gratitude healing emotional pain connecting with your i am presence focusing on what's working versus what's wrong connecting with high vibrational crystals high vibrational sounds and music and so on then it is important to visualize the divine new earth experience when you are meditating just ask yourself before meditating what do you want to see in your world simply imagine you are fast approaching an entirely new experience of reality we champion your victory in the light welcome home we send you all so much love you are carried on the wings of angels to bring forth the new earth know in your heart that you are always surrounded by your angels ascended masters guides galactic families of light and yes also by your family and friends and telos and always will be dear ones we are walking with you on this journey and you are loved beyond measure always i am your brother adama of telos thank you adama from teloschannel.com and from divine sister of the light ramona lapin victory is here now our time out of time has come beloveds time to fully awaken from the dream dissolving all remaining illusions false projections and perceptions as we shift the way we perceive our realities and see through the false matrices and artificial matrix overlays based on false memories inverted limiting false thought forms and beliefs it all dissolves and falls away unveiling what has always been returning our true memories of our ancient future past all as we remember the real truth our true history and original innocence as our memories arise from within our cellular memory dna crystalline structures and earth's crystalline core and networks as our already ascended diamond avatar self awakens from the deep slumber awakening from the dream as the dragons awaken from their stasis ready to protect and return the truth in our organic ascension realities abundance freedom magic unity joy peace and divine love to the children of earth and the cosmos to rise again as the magi grail queens and kings that we are reclaiming the dream as the creators that we are awakening the memories of our new eden from within our sacred crystal hearts opening wide the great remembering the great reveal the great reset of the one consciousness completed now as we return to the teachings of the book of love the law of one the tree of life awakens returning eternal life flows and crystalline currents to all a new dawn rises shining light and a higher consciousness perception on all that was unveiling all remaining secrets wrapped up in the most sacred gentle purest divine love healing all eternal love ramona and from divine brother of the light richard rudd gene keys unlocking the higher purpose hidden in your dna gene key 57 october 8th 2022 through october 13th 2022 unease intuition clarity the 57th gene key contains the myth of the philosopher's stone our body our dna is encoded with that stone that densest form of matter deeper in the heart of that density an infinite light lays trapped and when we finally unlock the deepest layer of that light a supernova occurs we discover the divine we realize that we're a part of god and that god is in us and in everything we see clearly for the first time we're reconceived once the bond with matter is severed at its root the game is over this is realization clarity is all there is from the sixty-four ways and from the yi ching the classic book of change hexagram fifty-seven the gentle 
The gentle wind is the breath of a gentle wood. The subtle yet penetrating spirals of life, a clear mind moves through any obstacle. Clarity is empty sky. Intuition trusts the whispering wind. Unease fears the coming storm. Subtle intention. Success through what is small. It furthers one to have somewhere to go. It furthers one to see the great man. Clarity is a new world. With clarity there is no I. Clarity can't exist with a sense of identification. To get to the heart of the matter, we must let go of all that we've ever known. Our intuition will take us finally to a precipice in consciousness. Richard Rudd, 64 Ways, from GeneKeys.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Astro Mama, On the heels of this powerful full moon in Aries, I want to write a quick astro update. The energy right now is thick with emotion, confusion, and deep insights. A lot of you message me lately feeling very emotional and all over the shop. It's okay. Let yourself purge and release. The upcoming full moon in Aries is conjunct Chiron, the wounded healer. Chiron is about seeing the wound and transforming it to your greatest healing. It's time to embrace our inner wounds of abandonment and come from a sacred place of self-love. At the same time, it's time to recognize our compassion for another struggle. It's the sacred balance of honoring the self, Aries, with one another, Libra. I send you my love and blessings. Let it up and flow, release, and get ready for freedom, unconditional love, and peace. From AstroMama.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Molly McCord. Jupiter returns to Pisces for two months to help us in completing karma, soul contracts, lessons, and a chapter in our lives so we can move on to the new beginnings that we're ready for next. Jupiter is a co-ruler of Pisces that supports our ability to connect with the divine and our own soul wisdom. But we have to be willing to let go of what is energetically complete and no longer in alignment with our next phase of life. Jupiter retrograde re-enters Pisces on October 29th and travels back to 28 degrees 48 minutes while stationing direct on November 24th. Then Jupiter moves across the final degree point of the zodiac again before re-entering Aries on December 21st, 2022, the winter solstice. From Molly Online. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Pluto stations direct in Capricorn. Since late April, Pluto has pushed us to deconstruct fears to get us fit and strong for the game of life. At the same time, we've been asked to assume greater responsibility by using the rich resources each of us have deep within. It may not have been easy, but being under pressure concentrates attention. The God of the underworld has taught us to take control where we can. Release where we can't and recognize that there is a power in showing up and being accountable. You may feel raw, scared, exhausted, but you survived. This is a turning point, a moment of rebirth. You're a phoenix arising from the ashes. Having cleared away the dead wood from your life, you now have room to grow and manifest your full potential. Decide today to be a light in the dark. Consider what you want to pass on to the next person you meet or to the next generation. The old order is dying. Extraordinary truths can change the world. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 143, Blue Cosmic Night. Cosmic is the name for the number 13 and its keywords are Endure, Transcend, and Presence. The last day of the Blue Monkey Wave spell is special because it is so poetically sums up the journey that began on day one. The agenda was magic, and after all we went through, the final destination we find ourselves at is the cosmic night. Today we endure to transcend all we have learned, and this process leads us all to become cosmic dreamers. Today is blue night, and it represents dreams, abundance, and intuition. 
The blue monkey led us here, a day full of dreaming aspirations and imagination. Our dreams are what define us as humans. The monkey in the tree dreamed of walking on two legs and it was so. What dreams can you dream up to transform your life? Attract abundance into your world today. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Blue Cosmic Night, 13 Akbal, Keen 143, 8th of October 2022, Accomplishing Bliss-Filled Abundance, 8-8 Cosmic Abundance Gate, 8-10-2022 equal 8-10-6 equal 8-1-6 equal 8-7 equal 15 equal 6, Day codes, 8, Abundant Infinite Source Flow, 15, Spiritual Alchemy, Charisma, Magnetism, 6, Heaven, Christ, Family, Romance, Fertility, Month Year Codes, 10, Manifestation, Authority, Power, 1, New Beginnings, Original, Leader, 6, 7, Magic, Mystic, Spiritual, Solitude, Initiation, 2. Partner, Twin, Cooperation, 20. The Awakening, Clear Vision, 22. Architect of Peace, Master Builder, Keen 143 equal 8. Abundance, Infinity Flow, 8 plus Day Code 8 equal 8, 8 Abundance Gate. It is time to claim your reward. Divine Cosmic Abundance, Day 13 and the Blue Monkey Wave Spell of Magic, Joy, Bliss, Play, Merriment, spontaneity and a return to innocence. Today we conclude our magical carpet ride with Chuain, the mischievous blue monkey. And so today we reach the highest level of magic, transcending the humdrum old paradigm and launching into our greatest dreaming, having returned home to our pure divine diamond selves. Today we celebrate the active stillness in the pure magic of the enchanted monkey forest. We commence this wave spell in search of our pure divine innocence, our original essence, and today we have arrived here, realizing that the greatest magic lies wholly within us. Connecting to our pure presence unleashes the power of the cosmos and all of creation. Tone of creation, cosmic is the last and final tone of creation, the highest octave. Tone 13 operates in the spiritual realm, Thirteen is the mystical number of the cosmic order, the goddess and synchronic natural time. Cosmic action transcends power endures, essence presence. Today you have incredible spiritual power at your disposal to transcend all those old patterns, where the world and all its trappings dissolve into the cosmic mists. We can transform them by our pure presence, translating into pure bliss. We have arrived, add some, I am here. This is the stage of having transcended the physical, emotional, and mental realms and arriving at cosmic consciousness. Today we can be still and connect to the essence of our greatest magic, the frequency of pure internal presence. You are the rainbow bridge, and you have the power to do this for yourself personally and also collectively as a valuable member of our planetary tribe of rainbow warriors. Heaven on earth is our collective birthright. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. As above, so below. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Kadoish, 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 Adonai Sebaoth. Today's question is how can I transcend the humdrum and use my highest magic to accomplish my greatest dreams, opening to cosmic abundance through my pure divine presence? And so we bid adieu to Chuain, the spontaneous magical blue monkey, who enabled us to see in order to transcend all that is not of bliss in this world, reclaiming our lost innocence and aligning with our inner divine child. Remembering that joy and play are our greatest magical tools to create a wonderful life. Now that we have rediscovered our greatest magic, we are ready to set forth on our new journey. Tomorrow we commence a brand new wave spell packed with even greater potential, with Khan, the yellow seed, as our learned guide. And so our journey of ripening through the dream spell continues. 
Get ready to grow exponentially. Divine blessings for your transcendence to receive your highest form of cosmic magical abundance. In la Ketch a la Keen, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 143, Blue Cosmic Night. The mantra, the code for today is, I endure in order to dream, transcending intuition. I seal the input of abundance with the cosmic tone of presence. I am guided by the power of accomplishment. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're seeing, what you're feeling, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions, and we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue this work. So if you'd like to help support our work, our mission, and help us continue to bring these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. I'd like to thank Divine Angel of the Light Julian Wedich for another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Angel. We appreciate you and your continued support, and we appreciate all of you that continue to support us in this work and mission. If you'd like to support us with a one-time donation, you can do so to our PayPal account at eaglelovecondor.com. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork. You can purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. And she has a 20% off sale for autumn until October 25th. So be sure to take advantage of that. Now we're going to complete today's transmission with a powerful prayer from Divine Sistar of the Light, Aurelia. Prayer for Healing Through the Seventh Ray In the name of my beloved I Am Presence, in the name of God, I now call forth the action of the violet flame of transmutation, of compassion and forgiveness in my auric field for the cleansing and purifying of every action, thought and feeling in my heart, my mind, my solar plexus, and in all of my chakras. I ask for the action of the violet fire to permeate every cell, atom, and electron of my four body systems at this moment and at all time, each day of my life, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. I ask for the healing of any distortions in my energy fields from past and present misunderstandings. I ask the energies of the violet fire to start healing any imbalance in my physical, emotional, and mental bodies. With much gratitude, I now ask for the action of the violet fire to manifest in my energy fields in full power. And so be it, beloved I am. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful, blessed, and powerful full moon in Aries as we also begin our journey of the yellow seed wave spell. Be sure to check out our premiere tomorrow on the full moon and the wave spell tomorrow evening on our channel's Prime Disclosure and Paul White Gold Eagle. 11.44 coming in, the codes of mastery. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.